Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today I had a delivery. These arrived. So these are what we're going to be playing with. So it's the eye brush set and the Yasmin palette from Miali Beauty. So yeah, if you want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. So I've used two of the brushes so far. Firstly, I have used this one. It's uh, got a spoolie on one end and a little angled brush on the other end. Um, I used that one to do my eyebrows and uh, I found it pretty easy to use. Really nice. Um, and this one here, they haven't got names or numbers. This fluffy one here. I just used this one to do my eye primer and they're so soft. Really, really soft. So, onto the palette. So... There's no mirror in this, so I've uh, dug out a mirror to use. I keep changing my mind as to what I want to do. I've got dog hair in it. Hmm. Um, I think I'm going to go for like the purples and pinks. I think. We shall see. I'm just going to take this little fluffy brush here and I'm going to dip into Nadia. This really beautiful purple. There's definitely some pigment there. Oh, look at that colour. Just straight away. I have the Ayubia palette from Miali Beauty and I absolutely love that palette. That made it into my uh, 10 pa If I could only keep 10 palettes that I got in 2020, it made it into that. It was that good. So... Uh, I have high hopes for this and so far I have no complaints this is a really nice purple let's just check it blends out without going patchy these brushes are so so soft I wouldn't usually try out new brushes and a new palette but as they both came from Miali Beauty, I just wanted to... I was so desperate to play with both the palette and the brushes. I don't appear to be getting any fallout, which again is brilliant for me. Considering I have already put my base on. I always used to do my eyes first and I don't know how why I got into the habit of doing my face first but I think it's more because it's easier to get my eyebrows on if I've already got my base on but it doesn't always make it easy for trying out eyeshadows because if uh, if there's fallout I've got a lot more to kind of clean up and correct I'm just going to pack it in a bit more because I do want to the depth kind of right in my crease and out of A. I'm going to pack it in there but then blend out the edges. It's blending out beautifully. So I'm doing this on my ABH eye primer um, which I absolutely love all of these brushes do seem to be a bit on the larger side however I can't complain at the uh, quality because uh, they are so soft and it's blending this out beautifully all right so I'm just going to take a slightly longer thinner fluffy brush <laughs> And I am going to dip into Red Kite, which is this pinky colour here. I haven't swatched any of these. Um, if you watch my channel, I did say that I was starting to worry that I was already judging an eyeshadow based on the swatch, which is something I go out of my way not to do. I like this. I will go back into the purple just to... Uh, re-intensify that up to the pink but I do have to say it is blending beautifully and this is another 
very soft, very beautiful brush. This past week I have been really struggling. Um, I have had a couple of full-on meltdowns where, because uh, I am so fed up with being in pain all the time, with not being able to go anywhere because I can't walk far, with the amount of weight I've put on um, due to not being able to do much. And I have had some proper meltdowns that I think with times as they are, it's a lot to deal with anyways, because obviously we've got the, the coronavirus, which is the only time I'm going to mention that. So uh, the lockdown is very real. <laughs> um, not that it makes much difference to me, like I said, because... Uh, I am stuck in and have been since October. And back in with Nadia the purple just to re-intensify that and make the blend into the pink a bit better. So yeah I was uh, feeling quite ashamed of it actually like that it meant that I was really weak that I couldn't cope but I think actually having the breakdowns like really in some ways helped because uh, we're in really difficult times and I am sure I am not the only one finding things extremely difficult at the moment. Last year has been a, a very testing time for everybody uh, for various reasons and um, personally we lost a couple of family members and a few friends in this past year, which was extremely tough. Um, and then obviously getting the costochondritis, <laughs> just kind of icing on the cake, but not in a good way. So the point I was trying to make, really, <laughs> in a roundabout way, was if you're having difficulties, if you're struggling, don't bottle it up, don't think that you've got to try and be strong and that you're weak if you break down because that's just not the case. You know, these these times are uh, no one was expecting and it has, it has affected everybody to a certain extent. These have blended so beautifully together. Absolutely gorgeous. I am not sure what I'm going to use for the lower lash line. Well, these brushes are too big for my lower lash line so I am going to use my little Morphe brush and I'm just going to dip into firstly Red Kite and I'm just going to blow that out under oh, well, my lower lash line. <laughs> so just really, I did prime under my eyes as well. Um, I have started doing that a bit more because I just find well, it's pretty obvious why, but the shadows blend better if you have. So I'm just putting this under and blowing it out because I want to put the um, the deeper purple Nadia closer to the lash line. So yeah, just using the same brush, just dipping into a tiny bit of Nadia. And just... Placing that right up against the lower lash line and blending in and then just connecting it here and then we can use that to kind of wing out the purple a little bit there. I'm not overly happy with the shape so I am just winging that out. I'm just taking a touch of it just to help it to blend out and then a touch more of the purple just wing that out a bit too all right so i'm happy with how that's looking so far i'm just going to nip off and pop on some nyx glitter primer and then i'll be back to continue with the eyes with you 
Right, so that's the NYX Glitter Primer on. So the first shimmer I'm going to be going into is Miali, which looks absolutely stunning. So uh, I don't know if it's going to work. I'm using this uh, kind of flattish, fluffy brush. So let's have a see. So yeah, not loving that brush for that purpose. So I'm going to take the more flat one and just dip into that. So I'm getting quite a lot of fallout. So I think what I'm going to do is spray the brush. So I've got the product on the brush, quick spritz smash everything down and then oh look at that okay that was definitely a wise choice look at that I'm packing quite a lot on the brush because it's not the easiest to pick up with a brush all right let me just try something I'm just going to try using my finger to see what that does. Oh, okay. It might be a case of uh, use my finger for the shadow, but it's a really special colour. It's got like a, it's like a purple with a kind of blue shift. It's beautiful. Yeah, I'm definitely finding that my finger worked better for that particular shimmer. It is absolutely stunning. It's it's like a purple with blue shift. It's a very special shade. And then I'm going into Annie next, just for the part of the lid I left open. So just using the same brush, I'm hoping... Well, this seems to be working a bit better on the brush. Still not the easiest to pick up on a brush, but then that might just be the brush I'm using. But I just, I'm so desperate to try all these brushes. Um, I do usually use slightly smaller brushes, but I cannot complain at these. They are absolutely gorgeous wow they just melted in so beautifully i'm just going to pop some nyx glitter glue under my eyes and in the inner corner all right i'm just popping the glitter primer just on the inner corner there and just dragging it under slightly so right on the inner corner and then Again, just under slightly there. So with my Prepped by Sigma pencil brush, I'm going to dip into Annie, which is the second shimmer we've just used there. And I'm just going to take that, um, press it onto where the glitter primer is underneath. So yeah, just placing that there. Such a pretty shade. I thought the palette looked beautiful, just obviously seeing it online. But in person, there's so much more dimension to the, the shades in this palette. So I did, I was actually planning to film an almost full face of first impressions from my box of makeup I have but haven't used yet. But as soon as these arrived, I had to. I couldn't. I couldn't not. And then just taking a little tiny brush. It's a Morphe one from the Mama Mitchell collection, and I'm going to dip into. Let me move it so you can see. And I'm going to dip into Munaza, which is this shimmer here. I'm going to use that one for my inner corner highlight and possibly brow bone highlight, depending on what it looks like. So here we go. Oh, oh, that's more than it looks in the pan. Okay. 
Oh, that's stunning. I'm going to just literally drag it up just a little bit just to connect it. Well, that was not what I was expecting at all. The shimmers do seem to have tiny, tiny, tiny particles, like tiny glitter particles, um, which stick to everything. But I don't mind, not when they look like this. Wow. So just taking a tiny bit more of that Munaza and I am just placing that just literally right up against the brow there. Ooh, is it pretty? Yeah, that is not what it looks like <laughs> in the pan at all. I'm just going to nip off, finish my face, and then I will come back to show you the finished look and have a chat about, well, what my first impressions are of the Yasmin palette and the brush set from Miali Beauty. So don't go anywhere. Okay, so here is the finished look. What do you think? I'm really pleased with it. I find myself saying that a lot at the moment. I'm really happy with it. I'm really pleased with it because these indie brands are smashing it. So excited. Um, so let me just let you know what else I have popped on my face and then we'll have a chat. So the mascara is the Barium. That's how I roll. The eyeliner in my waterline is the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Go Green. My inner corner, I popped a bit of the Collection Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Eyeliner in Cosmic Stars. Um, I just thought that would add just that little bit of extra sparkle on the inner corner there. Um, the black eyeliners I've used, I say eyeliners because there is two. So for the outer wing, I used the Lois Cosmetics Fine Star Eyeliner in Beton Black, I believe. Um, that's really good. I love it. Um, so yeah, that is the outer wing and then for the rest of the liner is Catitude Liner and Lash Adhesive in One from Artitude Cosmetics. I love this so much. Absolutely fantastic. Game changer. Love it. Um, where are we now? So on my cheeks, the blush I've used is Typhoid Mary from Pout and Shout and the highlighter I have on is from Kaleidos. And it's a Space Age highlighter in Skywalker. And I love that too. Beautiful. And the lipstick I have on is the Lime Crime Matte Velveteens in the shade Moonstone. So yeah, I really like the brushes. They are super soft and they're absolutely gorgeous. The only thing I would change is I would add some more of the smaller brushes, like smaller pencil brushes smaller shading brushes but that's personal preference the brushes themselves are fantastic super soft like i said blend beautifully the palette the yasmin palette this one is a permanent addition to miali beauty and just the the shades in there are stunning absolutely stunning i mean i used Obviously, one, two, three, four, five. So these two mattes and three of the shimmers. This doesn't look anything like it does in the pan. It surprised me in the same kind of way that the um, shade in Juvia's Place, the Tribe, surprised me. Yeah. <laughs> Not what you think, but it is absolutely gorgeous. These two shimmers are stunning. This one does appear to apply a bit better with the finger but I don't mind the mattes just blended beautifully they are so complimentary I think this palette is really well thought out colour story it is absolutely gorgeous there are so many options for eye looks just within this one palette absolutely gorgeous so beautiful so yes, I am looking forward to playing with the Yasmin palette some more. So first impressions, again, I'm, I appear to be saying this all the time at the moment, but my first impressions are, it's great, I love it. 
So yeah, if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like, thumbs up, it really helps me out. Um, if you are not subscribed already, then I hope you'll consider sticking around and hitting that subscribe button. I do a lot of colourful looks and I use mainly indie brands. I am a huge indie brand supporter, which you will see if you hang around. Um, so yeah, if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in seeing more of, then please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I upload. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing, I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.